Hey, how goes it? Ken Bozak here to talk about Bitcoin and Bitcoin accessories. Uh, we're at the Crypto Summit, uh, New Girls on the Block ICO Pitch Day, sponsored by Crypto Friends. And I'm here with Nanu Burks. Check her out on Instagram at Nanu Burks, guys, uh, the decentralized crypto artist over here. Uh, she makes cryptocurrency themed art and art in general, and it's for sale for cryptocurrencies. She's been on my show before. Uh, most recently, you were at Anarcha Poco. I gotta know, I missed out. What the hell went down in Anarcha Poco? Uh, everybody was there. Everybody How was, was it? Everybody was there. It was amazing. And I saw you did some coverage and uh, after talks about Anarcha Poco, so you've been in that world. Yeah. You were there in spirit. Um, I love how we're all acting as each other's tentacles in the world. Right. Like I, uh, People else. reached out to me from Anarcha Poco and yeah. they were like, this person or that person or this person mentioned you and I uh, just thought we'd connect. And I'm like, right. I'm meeting people in Anarcha Poco without so even bad. being in Anarcha Poco. Oh it's so awesome. Yeah. And, I, and there were two live painters there. And it was the first time that I was not painting at an event. Oh, so I got so to do everything the, else. Yes. Yeah. It was so amazing. Connected with everybody. It was so cool. And after that, life has just gone crazy. So I've been on podcasts trying to connect artists, onboarding them onto the blockchain. We're releasing uh, something really special that I can't really talk about, but it's going to be a game changer in the art world to onboard people in the easiest way. Um, you know, all the podcasts okay. I'm right now, filming two documentaries right now, uh, creating content for all of the crypto, friends.io, and Super Bloom with Emmy Chang. She's yeah, amazing. Emmy Chang is amazing. I actually amazing. just covered her uh, presentation over at the Hilton. Uh huh. Super Blue is on point. So Amy badass. Is awesome. She's Amy. really, she's really cool, man. And every that's the thing. Like all the women in blockchain space has been so beautiful to connect with them in a heart-centered space. And then everybody's willing to collaborate. So the art world has taken off. The art projects have taken off. We're going to France for um, 420 to do with like a blockchain oh cannabis event. Um, and and I'm painting a three-story building, man. Instead of wee 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 wee. Let's do it. And uh, yeah, and so I'm really excited about this three-story building mural that we're painting. In three Austin. stories. Three stories. How long is that going to take? Two weeks on a boom list with hard hats and harnesses, man. Is that like yeah. a crypto themed or crypto sponsored thing? It's or? crypto sponsored. It's by Swarm Fund. For Swarm Fund? I love them. Yeah, they're so cool. So they're Swarm dumb. Fund is sponsoring a art display at that size? At that size. What? And working with our friends at Vault Logic and Air Ethereum, that's who sent us here. I um, love seeing marketing from cryptocurrency projects being allocated to, you know, independent solo artists that create the marketing artwork. Absolutely. And instead of giving it to these centralized media hubs that, you know, kind of make it like the pay to play scenario. Like, oh, you want us to make art for your project? It's $10,000 or something. I know. Or we could do a giant mural for much less than that and get, you know, grassroots uh, attention and you can help somebody who's probably going to talk about it a lot more than a marketing company. That, Definitely. You know, and it's decentralizing the power of right. what marketing means because now we say the artists are fighting back and they're like, listen, if you're going to pay me X amount to paint this mural, I want to paint something that creatively satisfies me and I will explain to you why that's going to go viral. Wow. So the artist is redefining what material goes viral for people to see. That's really important. That is blockchain at its essence. You know? It is. It's, that's it's, what I'm it's about. the content. It's the content creator, the artist. You know, allowing them to use their own artistic expression without having that boss. You know, there it, it is decentralized, which means you know there is no oversight. You know, um, uh, you're an artist, you create art. There's nobody that can stop you. You know, and if you create a dash logo painting and put a dash public address on it. Nobody can stop you from doing that. Exactly. And if people admire that art, they could send that artwork all the dash they want. And you're now an artist, no central authority, creating art for crypto from the community. Like what, what you're a part of is a big step in mainstream adoption for crypto. I think because so. Because most people so. don't yeah. see that. That's and that's the whole thing. It's even giving people that have no internet access. So that's, that's a big thing, right? Like, mm -hmm. what if you don't, if you can't read, or you don't have internet access, if you're not educated, you can't be a part of that. Movement. Right? How do you and get into this? Yeah, you have exactly. to be a genius. You have to have you know 4K or 4G speeds on your phone. And if you're in a third world country, good luck. No, you're right. Now we paint a mural. You get to look at it. You feel something, and then you go. You know, and you can ask questions, talk to the community. Um, the other things I stopped doing is I stopped actively selling my art. And then people are buying my art for a higher price more often oh, than wow. before. Because you, you, instead of you giving it the, the price, they're giving it the price. Yes. So people, so I'm basically, I have a minimum. I don't sell anything for under two ETH. 
and then depending on how uh, how much people want it, I'll have people bet on it, which I'm trying to build an app for that. If anybody wants to build an app or has an app for that, I'm sure there's many out there. Wow, already. yeah, or write a smart contract for sure. Yeah, exactly. That would be awesome because when people send in the bids, if they don't win it, they just get the bid back, but exactly. the winner's bid goes right to you. Yeah. So you only get paid by one person out of all hundred. Mm -hmm. and, then, like and then also being able to have some artworks that are just owned by a bunch of people and that tour around the country. So somebody wow, can have yes. it for two months, somebody can have it for three months and send it around the country, you know? That is so different. That is evolving the art industry in general. I mean, I don't think that art could have made that leap without blockchain technology, without that, you know, the, uh, the, 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 the freedom of, of accepting payment from your, you know, uh, audience. You don't have any centralized authority to say, oh, we don't work with independent artists, uh, your funds are frozen. Yeah. Like, what? Yeah, what? <laughs> you know? So you don't have to worry about that. You don't have to go and apply for a marketing or, or, or as an artist for a marketing firm. You are the firm. You, you are, are the, the firm. Yes. And you decide how many eyeballs your content gets when you make it when there's the artist needs time to paint and if you're always pressed if i'm always pressed for um advertising my own things or or painting a mural for a brand because it pays me more i don't have time to be created in my own studio and, mm. and, and cre killing creativity is the worst thing we could do for everybody involved you know so blockchain as a vehicle for change blockchain as a vehicle to empower artists to to use their voice and to say, no, I'm right. I know what the street art market is like. I know what people like to see. And I'm gonna teach you, if you wanna listen, why you should put your marketing dollars into funding our, ourselves and our spirits, right. you know? Being um, an artist and a crypto enthusiast now, when you talk to an artist who doesn't know what crypto is, how's that conversation go? <laughs> it's usually, people are really caught up on the meaning. They say, but what's the message? Why do you make crypto art? What's the message? And that's coming from a place of fear and anger, saying like, you're just in it for the money and you just want to distribute right. technology. You're shilling. Yeah. You're and shilling your art is how <laughs> they, exactly. they And you're a sellout. You're a sellout. That's right, straight up right. Right. You're a sellout. And it sucks because it's not, it's freedom. I believe in decentralization of power. If I can paint whatever the hell I want and I'm getting 15K to paint a mural because that is useful content for a brand that understands that creativity is the most important thing, as Einstein said, mm -hmm. you know, Einstein said, creativity is more important than knowledge. Sometimes it is, and sometimes it can be the bridge towards knowledge. Right. So there's all these innovative people that believe in this and we're here to support each other, and that's the message. It's like, be free, paint whatever you want, and get paid well for it, and live an abundant life, because the market cap doesn't exist anymore, because fiat is dead, and because we can invent the level of wealth that we want. So what's the problem, you know what I mean? Right. You no, know, the message is loud and clear, and it even has like a stamp of like, you know, wax seal security on it of, of it ain't going anywhere. Nothing is changing. You know, you can, you know, it, no, nothing is changing going back. You know, it's only going forward in that sense. We don't have to, you know, worry about what if the internet disappears tomorrow. You know, right. people are like, what if the blockchain technology failed tomorrow? Like, yeah. Well, what if the internet failed tomorrow? What, what would you do? What Equifax, if the Equifax the earth was and just we hacked. Exploded. You know right, all I mean? those what ifs. Yeah. yeah, people are stuck in that thought process. And the thing I like about, you know, as I said, that seal of, of security is that artists have integrity. You know, especially a solo, independent artist, like you said, their own creativity and hindering that will get them to turn down opportunities to make money. I've yeah. seen it. I so, know so it I've all done the time. It until two right? Ago, no, so. but the, you have to. You have to have your creativity not being hindered by the job opportunity or the income. It's not about the money. It's about the art and the message. Yeah. And when it comes to marketing, especially with cryptocurrencies, that gives the, a, a, a boost of confidence, saying like. Well, this artist didn't just shill or promote this coin. They put their heart and soul into it. There must be something about that. Maybe I should look more into it than just looking at this picture and research this thing now. And that, that's what's happening. People are seeing that integrity being put with passion into this marketing that makes them perceive it in a way where they want to learn about it other than looking at the pretty picture that it is. And isn't it what that's all about? If we want to change the world through decentralization, doesn't a company who wants to educate about this content want to get the reflection of a normal citizen processing what blockchain is and, and, and releasing it back into art? Like that's what we want, right? We want to adopt the 80% in the middle, the non hyper technical mm -hmm. people, then let the yes. people in the middle make their own conclusions and provide it as art so people can understand. Hyper non-technical people, exactly you know? what we need. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, you don't have to have a, you know, a, a college degree to use the internet now. It was not this easy before, and eventually, you know, um, even as like Vitalik has said, Ethereum won't even have wallets. 
it'll just work. It'll you just know? work. It'll just do what it needs to do. You won't have a wallet, you won't interact, it'll just happen. You'll get paid, you'll pay, money will move as you just walk through life. Exactly. And, and that's where we're headed. And uh, as, as an artist, I was just seeing like, where do you see yourself and this industry going forward? Where's Nanu, crypto artist, 2019? That's, that's a really good question. I've been actually redefining that in the last couple of days. You know, I've been producing events and live painting and mm -hmm. connecting other artists and being the PR and funding person and I don't want to do eight roles at once. And so what do I really want? And I've been trying to hire producers to produce. So I ideate the event and then hire producers to produce the experience so that I can free my time to get the money from the investors, explain to the message from the artist to the investor and vice versa mm -hmm. in live paint. So I can create and I can ideate, but I don't have to plan and produce. And that's been so good. Good. It's giving me so much clarity. That's one thing. And the other thing is taking this to the voice. You know, I'm, I'm on Steam and I'm writing articles. I'm on podcasts. I have, I'm making videos. I'm trying to tap every channel possible to bring this information out to people. And so I'm getting a lot of speaking opportunities and etc. And, and that's been really wonderful um, being able to uh, be an activist in that way. You know? And we benefit all from it. So I'd like to be the first to say thank you so much, Nanu. You so you're the best. I love seeing you around. Your, your life is exploding in all the magical ways. And yeah, so cool we're everywhere. both going up in different directions like so rockets nice. going to different moons and I yeah. love that we keep connecting on different like cloud levels on the way up and every time he's like a hundredfold right right, right. So I mean fun. every other time we see each other at a conference it's like yo you do not know what you just yeah. missed let me tell so you I something I hope I see you in France for 420 I'm so gonna try um, I'm looking at Vegas for 420 but we'll see okay. what happens with France and everybody the link is in the description box below check out Nanu Burks and have a day thank you perfect <laughs>